welcome back to the Harper Tech Academy. We have an absolutely fabulous mix today. We're going to have a look at pest control measures, which is a, a requirement of food safety legislation. And we're going to look at how that actually happens. And I've got amazing photos for you once again. So I bet you can't wait to get into it. In this mix today, we've got some key understandings. We're actually going to have a look at what are the common pests we'll find in a commercial kitchen. We're going to look at the different types of places that they will hide, and then we'll look at pest control measures and how that actually ties together and how it links to the legislation. So let's go. Where there's food, there'll be pests, and they are attracted to food premises for a whole range of reasons to provide them with shelter, water, and a food source. So food standards codes require food businesses to take all practicable measures to prevent pests entering the premises. And then if they're there to actually eradicate them um, so that we don't have a food safety hazard. So let's actually look at some of those common pests. Um, the first one here, insects, cockroaches, which we know very well in Australia, flies, ants, that type of thing, rodents, Rats, mice bring in a lot of disease. They leave a lot of droppings in the food. Um, we have birds, and this is a big problem around where we are, being close to the ocean. The pigeons and seagulls actually bring a lot of disease, which can actually affect the food. And I've put in others here because we have weevils and worms at the microscopic level that get into our food and contaminate it. You would be amazed where I've found pests in a kitchen before. So you'll see here we have a beautiful shiny kitchen. So let's have a look at where you might find them. You can find them actually under stoves, hot grills, um, behind ovens and that type of thing. So cockroaches, um, even mice and rats, because it's a nice warm place and they'll move off when you actually turn them on. Next, under and behind washing facilities. And generally this is because it's quite moist um, you might find weevils, you might find cockroaches. It's quite a nice environment for them. Um, next, and this is really important, in older restaurants there might be cracks in the wall and you can actually find vermin sitting in the actual wall cavities, which is really a hazard. Next, um, cracks and crevices. There might be cracks in the tile, um, a place where they can enter. Cockroaches love this, mice, and they'll live in like a little gap in the wall. Um, also another one to keep in mind in the cool rooms, uh, they will actually find inside the cardboard boxes, in within food containers. And uh, it, in the food containers, you actually find weevils and things like that, that actually can come in and contaminate your food sources. Both the Food Act and the food regulation stipulate two main things that um, an employer can do. First one is to prevent pests entering the food premises. We can do this by regular maintenance, repairing floors, walls and cracks so they can't get in, installing fly screens and making sure the doors are closed. The second one is if they actually get in uh, is to eradicate the harbourage of pests um, within our food premises. Now, we can do this by regular cleaning routines, um, routine pest control inspections, uh, making sure we cover our food and maintaining garbage areas and removing garbage out of the kitchen quickly. And this will help. Now, regular maintenance is important. Um, practical measures to eradicate pests, so having a, um, a policy and procedure and people checking maybe once a week or once a month and pulling everything out to make sure we don't have anything behind. And as before saying, the removal of garbage frequently and making sure that when you clean the floors you get right into the corners will help big time to remove pests. So you know that picture of the shiny kitchen, that's what we want. But it's the reality of a warmer climate is we will get pests coming in and the way we actually maintain our cleaning procedures and how we eradicate pests will actually keep our food safe. 
um, have a better reputation for restaurants and actually stop food poisoning happening. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time at the Harbour Tech Academy.